Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prisno. So I did, a, uh, I did a bit of off-camera work. We've picked up a bit of a larger army, and we fought off some some guys who were trying to siege out Dazook. And now, as you can see, we're at Metarea. I took the liberty of preparing the ladders and such off-camera, and now the time has come to siege yet another city. Hopefully, all goes well. Since I feel maybe I should have waited a bit to make sure everyone had had time to heal up, because we have fought a couple of tough battles lately. But anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, everyone, follow me. Okay, that's uh, usually not a good sign when our we're losing guys are right off the bat. Oh, some guy fell off the wall. Okay, let's see if I can get any shots in here. Nope. Yes. All right, we're... Come on. I gotta get at least one shot in here. Oh, I'm shooting way too high. Oh god, I, we are losing bodies left and right. Come on. All right. What are the numbers looking like here? You know what? Infantry and cavalry just charge in. Archers, over here. This is not good. Not good for us. What's the war cry again? Or, uh, battle cry, rally your troops. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Give everyone a little war cry there for moral support. Come on. I take the guys out off the walls. Alright, we actually seem to be doing okay. That occurs to me, I should have made sure I was at the top of the wall so that I could actually... Oh, wait. This is not... This is not going to end well, is it? Well. It's not as bad as it could be. But it's definitely... Why are the archers not doing anything? Or... More specifically, why are the, do the archers seem to be standing in a really bad spot? I don't know what's going on here. But you did see, like, the archers kind of running off and doing weird stuff, right? Did I scare the enemy off? Ow! You hit me, sir. Alright, there's like 300 guys here. And I, it's just me fighting. With my men. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. This was a really bad idea. Wait, never mind. It was a genius idea. Fine. Give me a little battle cry just to scare these guys off a little. War cry? Heal up, heal up. Fine, hurry up. Ah. Don't just stand there. Don't just do something, stand there. Okay. Well, this should be interesting. Oh god. Come on! Actually, actually, this is actually going relatively well, to be honest. I we, we've taken some losses. Could you put your shield down so I could stab you? Oh god. Oh god, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Um, um, um. I gotta get out of here. I can't get out of here. I need to be able to heal myself. I need, like, I'm, I just need a moment. Oh god, no, 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 oh thank god. Okay. Help, what is the medical thing? Uh, taunt, whistle. No, that's not what I want it. M to C. Oh god. Battle cry, first aid, first aid is Y. Okay, that's first aid, first aid, first aid please. Okay, war cry to heal everyone. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'll be honest, this is actually going really, really well. Alright. Basically, though, I should stand somewhat back at this point. Uh, let's get our archers over here so that hopefully they can provide us a bit of covering fire. I should stand back and basically just help... Help reinforce the men. 
Can I get another war cry in here? Alright, we're taking some... People are dying here. Oh, man. Alright, first... First person view. On, just... They have so many shields. Are they breaking through? Um... Fire... Something... Fire... Fire at will. Okay. It looks like they're taking the wall back, which is not good. Especially because I'm kind of almost dead here. Well, this was fun. Okay. I just have 41 archers who are fighting. Beautiful. Then again, I think we actually did it because there was 300 guys in the town and we've killed 206. 208. 210. Alright, good. Good. We only lost 25 men at the end of the day, which is not so bad. I mean, it's not ideal. I wouldn't have chosen to lose 25 men. But, it's not as bad as it could have been. And we have some reinforcements arriving, which means we have even more men, which means it's... Well, this is a genius move of them. They have all their archers over here. I mean, these guys look like they're pretty low level, but they're going to be taking us out because we're exposed here on the wall. We need to get down here. We have to be able to close the distance. Uh, our, okay, good. These guys are actually pathfinding intelligently up to the top of the wall, which is good. Though, the, the sheer number of archers we have kind of... Kind of concerns me, just a little bit. Are we going to take all 300 and some guys out just like this? Oh, we're losing all our rangers. Then again, eh, it's not that bad. I mean, this is not as painful as I was afraid it was going to be, to be honest. It's still pretty painful, and especially because I think some of our archers up here, like the reinforcements, are blocking the progression of our guys coming down, which does make things a little bit difficult, but... We still have people coming in, and they're... I mean, we are making some progress. Once we can get through this roadblock... Whoa, that was, uh... That was not what I intended. Oh, God. New enemies. Am I seriously going to take out all 300 guys just in this one fight? I figured... Yeah, but also, the most important reason why I decided we needed to take this city... Not only because I want another city under my control for when we inevitably break away from Jahara and form our own nation but because they have a bunch of Royal Riders, and we're still trying to finish off that Royal Rider quest, because I do want to wrap up all the Druharan quests I have before we inevitably betray them and run away. All right. Ooh, 40 men have died. That, that hurts, but the plus side is off camera, I beat a bunch of uh, slave rebels or something, and they had like a hundred... Uh, Prisno, well, they had a hundred farmers who will be raised up into Prisno troops. All right, good. We're just hacking these guys down because these guys are all just pathetic bowmen people. And we are still losing some people. This is, this is going to be pretty rough, but I have the utmost confidence in my people. I hope I didn't, that among the 41 dead are not my Raharan Light Riders because that would suck. All right, good. Raharan Spearmen... Uh, oh, our demon lord is dead. Draharan Light Riders. Well, that's uh, Oh, jeez, we did take the whole thing. But we got free royal riders, which brings us to a grand total of... Uh, where are they? Rahara Royal Rider 5. So we just need two more. Let's take everyone who's here. That way we can immediately stock up the castle. Beautiful, really. And isn't this lovely? Oh, and we have some new farmers, so we'll be able to raise up some new guys. We have some blue wooden nobles. Those guys are okay. Sandstormers, storm riders, archers. It's all good, really. Uh, I'm going to leave the snow crawler. Snow crawlers are not that good. I mean, they're just... You can be free, my friend. Yes, that's, that's it. A robber, no, you can also be free. I will capture all the prisoners. Also... I really do need to keep going back to my own towns and stuff because all the other vassals are dropping stuff off in my in my prisons. So I have all these prisoners that I could be turning in, which is good for our purposes. Another light rider. It'd be nice if some of these light riders actually leveled up. But that's never going to happen. Fortunately for us. All right, good. That went rather well. We got some new items, which we can sell. So we have even more money. Money is good. Makes me happy. I will request it be given to me. 
because I am a badass and they damn well better give it to me because otherwise I might rebel. I mean, I'm going to rebel anyway, but they don't know that yet. So it works to my advantage. All right, we'll give you, level you up, then give you. And basically, we're, we're making really good progress, actually. And once all this stuff turns over to us when we rebel, which it should if I remember the mechanics of this game correctly, which I think I do, hopefully, very awkward if I had no idea what I was talking about, and then it turned out that I lost all this stuff to Drahara, but I'm pretty sure everything that belongs directly to you... I mean, you have the option of saying, yeah, I'll, I, I want to break away and I don't want to serve you anymore and I'll go ahead and give you your stuff back, but alternatively, you can say, nah, I'm going to hold on to all this for myself and I'm going to be a king in my own right. They don't... As you can see, look at that, all these guys. It's beautiful. We got some rune archers. Yep. Now these guys, they can still level up, so we might as well keep leveling them up. More militia, more of this, more of that. It's really awesome. Like, just look at us. Our army is, it's actually smaller than it was, but eh, we're doing okay. I can't complain too much. We'll wait until these guys are all veteran gladiators and champions and stuff. All right. That overall actually went rather well. Agnar is actually leveled up, so let's have a chat with him eventually. Let's go to the marketplace first, sell all our stuff. Because that's generally a good idea. We want all our money. All the money. Every last drop of it. Let's see. Should we buy some butter? Yeah, why not? Everyone loves a bit of butter now and then. Alright, good. And that, as they say, is that. Mander Burtz, huh? Nice to know you. Ah, Ransom Broker. Hello, my good sir. 14,000. Nice. Pretty good. For a day's work. A village guard, huh? Nah, I don't need any more. How many of you? Six? Nah. Alright, so, that... Oh, we should meet the Guildmaster, I guess, while we're here. Let's take a little stroll around the streets. Dum -de dum dum Oh, it feels awesome having... All those companions following me around to protect me and keep me safe. This is a really sprawling looking city, which is nice. I like these kind of scenes. It's always good just to kind of, I guess, sit back, relax, stroll around, explore. Because, I mean, a lot of work goes into making these things, and I do I do enjoy looking around. I just kind of wish, and I believe Bannerlord fixes this by having more stuff going on in the towns and stuff, so that you have... A lot more reason to just kind of go in every now and then and walk around because you never know what you're going to find. You could end up uh, having the option to save some people, the option to maybe make things a little... Hello. Maybe make things a little better by fighting crime or maybe you want to promote crime in a rival's city. All good stuff, really, when you think about it. Sounds like some pretty cool features. I... Really have to say, I am looking forward to Banner Lord. And here is a jailer? Yeah, you're a jailer. So we know if we ever have to bust anyone out in this particular town, which will only happen if we lose it, that that is where the place is. Strong Judas. That's an interesting name. Alright, you're just a guy who sells stuff. But where is the Guildmaster? You're a weaponsmith. Ah, there's the Guildmaster. Excellent. Excellent. Do you have any quests for me? Let's see. I don't really like these quests. Alright. I could also get a productive enterprise of some sort going, but I don't think I need to do that just now. In fact, let's, uh... Let's wait here for a little bit. Just to... What's this? The gathering... Oh, that's right! I forgot to mention that. Uh, I mean, we did capture Merton Hall again a while back, but the Sultan gave it to himself. Which also means it's an excellent opportunity for us to go win a tournament over there, because there's always a tournament wherever there's a feast. And once that happens, we will be able to have all the fun and prestige, and hopefully be able to start courting our dearly beloved best buddy Sebula's sister. Yeah, that way we can be married, get all our right to rule and our legitimacy. Hello. Eh, they don't really have many farmers or anything. So as you know, I really do like having all those prisoner warriors. But anyway, yes. Off we go. Hopefully, there is 
renown and fame and fortune to be won over there. And, all right, Agnar is leveled up. That's right, I do have to level him up. A light rider, prisoner novice to a nun. So much work leveling people up when you get an army this big, it seems. Not that I'm complaining. Frankly, just seeing this ar my army growing so big and so strong makes me very, very happy. Because before too long, we'll be strong enough. I mean, we probably have an army already that could easily, easily triumph against uh, Drahara at the very least. Could I triumph against everyone at the same time? Probably not. So I definitely want to make sure that we get our right to rule a little higher, which would actually, uh, it would go up if only our beloved Sultan would actually make peace with people. Because I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's just a feature, but when you're a vassal and if your Sultan or your leader makes peace, you get a bit of right to rule. Oh, also, I, I just occurred to me. I forgot something. There is another way to gain right to rule. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'd like to ask you something. Uh, ah, here we are. I suppose you know that I aspire to be king. Would you support my cause? Yes. All right, so basically, I just send this guy out. He'll be gone for a little while, but then he'll come back and we'll gain right to rule. So I should probably start sending... I'm pretty sure you can only send one companion out at a time. So I really should start doing that to jack up my right to rule. I want people to know... I mean to be king. I'll probably make the Sultan a little scared, and so it should, because I'm easily the most powerful uh, faction in this entire kingdom. We're also gonna just save here for safety purposes, just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, did I miss the feast already? Makes me sad. Lady Hindle, Lady Borg, Lady Melage, a lot of ladies in this castle. My name is Ender Farstrider. Actually, I suppose I might as well find out who all these people are related to. Let's see. Okay, you have no relatives at all? Really? Okay. Uh, can I know more about you? You're someone's wife, so we're not even going to try courting you. That would be very rude and impolite. Uh, what about you? Your sister to Urbe? I wonder, if I were to marry someone else's uh, daughter, sister, or whatever... Would that help? You're, you are someone. Okay. Alright, well, alright. Anyway, yeah, if that would help. What about you? Caravan, huh? Alright. And Borg? Husband? Okay, you are... Can I win your favor? Do you... No, you don't need anything. That's good. You're all happy. And I talk to you? Hmm. All right, well, nothing exciting going on over there. Let's go to the tavern, see what we can, what we can learn. Also, we're gonna have to take, a what? Masnerian, who the heck are you? Masnerian Knight. What do you have to say? Let's see, Knights, Knighthood Order that is founded on purely one prin uh, principle, fight for pay. All right, that's good enough. Uh, let's see, Tr in the Order Castle, sent to the world. Lord Celius the Dishonorable. Interesting. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else about that in the campaign right now, or in the world, but eventually maybe we'll see more about that. It might get fleshed out a tad bit. That's interesting. Hmm. The Sultan is not here. Alright, I guess we'll just wait. Huh. You know what? No, let's wrap things up by going back to Tilbo Castle. Maybe we can make some progress or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's tough to be the con. And I'm not even the con yet. But someday, it's gonna happen. Sooner or later. Why are you following me? You seriously think you could take me? Oh, you have 302 guys. You could actually possibly take me. Maybe. Anyway, yes. Off to Tilbo, we'll make our way back to Murdenhall. I feel kind of bad for the Sultan, because he's not in a really good position to actually hold on to that particular place, onto Murdenhall. Because it's, well, it's all wrapped up and circled and stuff. Alright, let's go visit Lady Selick. This is with these guards constantly winking at me. They must have some kind of tech or something. Anyway, let's see. 
don't think I've learned any new poems, or have I? Hello, Lady Selick. Uh, you have negative one. All right. Okay. Oh, I don't have any... Wait, I thought I had l learned a couple of poems. Didn't I? Huh, apparently not. Let's actually take a look at that. Um, Factions, relationships, courtships. Yeah, I do know. I must have told both of them. And I guess they were not received very well. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah, let's wrap things up here. And when we come back, hopefully the Sultan will have made his way to Murdenhall so we can actually get this feast underway and we can actually try our best to continue with courting so that we can actually have a wife so that we can be seen as a legitimate ruler so that we can rebel and hopefully Sebula will join us in our glorious revolution. But for now, that's going to do it for this episode. So as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.